Hello there, my name is Nathan Van Gorder and I created a business commercial for Taggart's Ice Cream Parlor and Grill, one of my favorite ice cream parlors ever. The best part was probably when, um, not in the, you couldn't hear it in the commercial, but when we were doing, eating the kitchen sink from Taggart's for our, um, our footage, we were actually having discussions, that's why our mouths were actually moving even though you can't hear it. We were having discussions about like past school time, um, how our days have been going, and what we're most excited about in the future. The diff most difficult part was probably getting into the editing studio we used, which was called We Video. You know, I'm not really that good at editing. I never really have used video editing before in my life, and it was just really hard. I mean, We Video is a very simple, it's very, very simple once you get into it, but it's very hard to use at first because, you know, all these appliances, you don't know what to click, you don't know, like, how to scroll through your videos, you don't know how to make multiple layers to your videos at first, but now that I've got into it, it's very simple. And if you could change anything about your project, what would it be? Oh, that's hard. Um, I think at this point, I don't like the music that goes with it anymore. The reason I mainly liked that music when I first chose it from the Wii Video music listings was because I thought that most of the loudest parts, like like the, like the kind of snares to the song, fit with the switches that happened in it. Um, and I thought that was what it is, but now I don't really like the song anymore. I think I would rather choose like a more peaceful tone to the music. Kind of like an upbeat but peaceful song. So maybe like an example would be um, there's a song that plays occasionally in the game Minecraft called Calm by C418 and it's a nice song. I really do like it. It's a nice touch of like calm music but it's still enough to to keep you warmed up inside, which is a song that I would probably go back and change if I could.